subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Snehish Alex Philip and you're watching Defense Tracker. As I began recording this particular episode, a tragic news has come out. Indian photojournalist and Pulitzer winner Danish Siddiqui has been killed in action in Afghanistan. A Reuters journalist, Danish, was embedded with the Afghan military and he was capturing their fight against the Taliban. The Taliban has seen a resurgence in Afghanistan with the withdrawal of the Western troops, including that of the US. While everybody from across the world are closely watching the developments in Afghanistan and the re-emergence of the Taliban, including Indian strategic thinkers and decision makers, a section within the Indian defense and security establishment are closely watching the situation unfolding in Taliban with fear of its impact in Kashmir. The big fear is that history could be repeated. Remember that way back in 1988-89, when the then USSR pulled out of Afghanistan, Kashmir witnessed a surge in foreign fighters coming in to fight the Indian security forces. The fear is that once Taliban establishes its control over Afghanistan and the fighting stops, many of its cadres could eventually be diverted towards Kashmir. While Taliban may directly not get involved in Kashmir, the fear is that Taliban is made up of different factions and prominent terror group, the jaish e mohammed which is very active in Kashmir, has close links with the Taliban as well as the Haqqani network. The fear is that these jaish e mohammed fighters who fought in Afghanistan could eventually turn towards Kashmir. Another point to remember is that not everybody fighting in Afghanistan is ideologically linked to the Taliban. There are mercenaries also who get paid to fight the American forces. Now with the American forces gone, they don't have anyone to fight in Afghanistan, but they do need to earn money. And the fear again is that these mercenaries could be used by Pakistan to generate heat in Kashmir. And that is a big worry. So the Indian security agencies and the uh, decision makers are preparing for the worst. However, there is also a silver lining. The fact is that 2021 is not as same as 1989. The geopolitics has completely changed. There are new organizations which are fighting terror on a global perspective like the FATF. Also, the big countries like US, Russia, China are on the same page as far as the situation in Afghanistan is concerned. And mind you, I'm talking about peace in Afghanistan. So hence, there is a much greater global scrutiny to the developments in Afghanistan than what it was in 1989. So while Pakistan could do what it did in 1989 without much scrutiny, because at that time terrorism was seen only through the prism of the rivalry between India and Pakistan. It would be difficult now for Pakistan to repeat the same. For The Print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to your Print's YouTube channel for more such videos.